TTW Community Guides. You've requested, I've complied. What is the GEC? How do I install it? Are there additional steps for setting it up for TTW? Those are the questions. This is the answer. The Garden of Eden Creation Kit, otherwise known as the GEC, is the official modding tool of Fallout New Vegas and consequently, Tale of Two Wastelands. It can be used to create new mods, to add or remove from our favorite mods, and to create patches. It is also needed to convert Fallout 3 mods for use with TTW. We are not and will not be concerned with the Fallout 3 version of the GEC, as it is only used for Fallout 3 itself. For everything in this guide to function, you need the New Vegas Script Extender installed. A video is linked for those who need help with it. GOG owners already have the GEC. It's in the game folder where it should be. You can skip to the setup section. Everyone else has to download it manually. Navigate to the linked GEC wiki page. Within the unofficial section, select the New Vegas link and download the archive. Open the archive. In a second window, open the New Vegas game folder. Drag and drop the archive's contents inside. The GEC Extender fixes some CK bugs and extends GEC functionality. Navigate to the GEC Extender Nexus page. Download the main archive. If using Mod Organizer, install and activate it as you would any other mod. If you are not using MO, open the archive. In the second window, open the New Vegas Game Folder, Data. Drag and drop the archive's contents into the Data folder. The GEC Extender page provides an additional patcher to make the GEC 4GB aware and to auto-load NVSE. Still on the GEC Extender page, within the optional files, download the GEC patcher. Open the archive that is downloaded. In the second window, open the New Vegas game folder. Drag and drop the archive's contents inside. Double-click the GEC NV patch executable. When the window tells you that the GEC has been patched, press any key to close. Now, to establish file pass, as well as the INI needed for the next step, go ahead and launch the GEC. When it opens, you can close it immediately. There's no need to do anything else. The final thing to do is adjust the GEC's INI settings to allow multiple master files to be loaded at the same time, establish the proper multi-bound setting, and make sure the GEC recognizes all archives needed for TTW. Open the system drive. Users, username, documents, my games, Fallout NV. As long as you have launched the GEC in the previous step, you should see the GEC custom INI. Go ahead and open it. MO2 users, future builds will see the tools window containing the GET custom INI, alongside all other INI files. At that point, the INI should be adjusted there. Within the general section, locate or add the setting, B, allow multiple master loads equals, and set the value to 1. Locate or add the setting, B, use multi bounds equals, and set this value to 0. Within the archive section, locate the setting, S archive list equals and make sure the value is set to what is shown on screen. You will need to pause the video. A special thank you to our poet lords, Watch Hill and Trotsky, for their charitable contributions and support. Thank you to those of you keeping gamer poets a reality. I am Michael of Gamer Poets, and I hope to see you next time.